Due to the sudden change of attitude of Samsung Electronics, QQ OLED will be sold soon in North America and Europe ahead of Sony. If so, you will be able to actually see QQ OLED TVs in stores soon in Korea. Until then, the evaluation of the performance of QD OLED has no choice but to rely on external reviews. Today's video is about problems that may appear in QD OLED, and the problem has to do with the contrast ratio, which is known as OLED's greatest strength. If not properly addressed, it can have catastrophic consequences. I ask for your understanding in advance that this video may be different from the actual TV that will be released, as this video is based on the theoretical background. Now let's start the tech tree. In conclusion, in a bright environment, the contrast ratio of QD OLED TV may be lower than expected. The advantage of OLED is the contrast ratio that expresses black well, but in a bright environment, that advantage may fade. Of course, all displays have lower contrast ratios in bright environment due to the effects such as reflection on glass surfaces, but there are likely other serious reasons. Of course, Samsung Display is also aware of this point, and I think that it has sought countermeasures as much as possible to prevent it and came up with a product. However, how high the level of perfection of the countermeasures that Samsung Display has sought is another matter. Because all as a self-luminous, they exhibit near-infinity contrast ratio in a dark room with no ambient lighting. On the other hand, in an environment with ambient lighting or light coming from a window, it cannot be infinity because of the reflections from the glass itself and from the electrodes or metal wiring of the OLED located inside the glass. That is why, as explained in the previous video, a circular polarizer is used to block the reflections of the metallic material located inside the glass. However, unlike white OLED, QD OLED has another cause that can lower the contrast ratio in bright places. That's because of the quantum dot. High color gamma is possible due to the use of quantum dots, but it may also cause a drop in contrast ratio in bright places. First, let's see what the green quantum dot coated film looks like. As you can see, even when there is no blue light, you will see that quantum dot glows green by indoor lighting. The same goes for the red quantum dot. A similar principle is applied to the safety jacket worn by people who work on the road, such as traffic police. If you make a jacket out of a fabric that is coated with a fluorescent material, it will be brightly lit by sunlight or car headlights, so it will make you stand out. In order to logically understand why QD OLED can have contrast ratio problems in bright places, let's compare the structure with white OLED first. First, white OLED drives the panel by turning on and off each of the three stack white sub pixels, and grayscale video is realized in the absence of other additional films. A color filter is needed to convert this grayscale image to full color. The color filter receives white light and extracts the three primary colors of light, red, green, and blue, from each sub-pixels to play a full color video. But the problem still remains. As expressed on the screen, it is impossible to achieve near-perfect black because light incident on the panel from the outside is reflected off the metal material inside the panel. The solution to this is a film called a circular polarizer, and when it is attached to the outmost part of the panel, it completely blocks the metal reflections caused by external light, so that black can be realized wonderfully. 
This time, let's take a closer look at QD OLED, which is today's interest. QD OLED uses the same three-step method as white OLED, but it is a device that emits blue color instead of white. As a result, the QD OLED panel displays the video in dark and blue of various brightness as shown in the video, without other ancillary films attached. Unlike white OLED, which extracts red, green, and blue, which are the three primary colors of light using a color filter, QD OLED uses a material patterned with red and green quantum dots to convert it into full color. However, as you can see from the screen, there is still work to be done. QD OLED also suffers from very poor black expressions in bright environment due to metal refraction inside the device. This is where a fairly thorny problem arises. Unlike the color filter used in white OLED, the red and green quantum dot layers patterned in green and red contain a separate scattering agent. Quantum dots themselves cannot scatter light because their size is less than 10 nanometer, which is much smaller than the wavelength of visible light. However, in order to extract the green and red light generated from the high refractive index material to the outside as much as possible, a scattering agent with large particle size must be mixed, and this scattering completely disables the circular polarizer. As a result, in order to avoid metal reflection, the layer containing quantum dust has to be taken out the outmost part of the panel. Instead, the circular polarizer is located inside unlike white OLED. Now, if we watch TV in an environment where there is no external light or in low light, you can watch a TV with excellent picture quality that realize the high color gamut and near-perfect black, which are the advantage of QD OLED. However, if we watch TV in a bright environment with this panel structure, a big problem occurs. As mentioned earlier, the quantum dot that emits light even by external light is the cause. Since quantum dot is completely exposed to the external light because it is located at the outmost part of the panel, and accordingly, it absorbs external light without any interference and emits light again. And the brighter the outside light, the more pronounced this phenomenon. As a result, the pixel that should be expressed in black absorbs external light when OLED is off and emits green or red light, so black is impossible. A way to minimize this phenomenon is to use a color filter. The reason for using a color filter in white OLED is to extract white light emitted from the OLED device as red, green, and blue. But in QD OLED, the color filter is placed at the outmost part of the panel to minimize absorption of external light by quantum dots. It will be easier to understand this effect by explaining, as an example, one cell pixel where red quantum dots are patterned and red color filters is formed on top. The example OLED cell pixel should show perfect black in off state, but it cannot create a black state because the red quantum dot that absorbs external light and emit red again. On the other hand, as shown in the image, the sub pixel with red color filter on top filters significant part of the external light except for red photon. So the emission of quantum dot is weakened, and it is difficult to see in a dark environment. An important fact here is that both red and green quantum dots can absorb not only blue, but also red or green and emit light again. In other words, the red quantum dot absorbs red photon and emits red again. Green quantum dots are the same. Therefore, even if the red color filter is used to completely block the blue external light, it is still possible to emit light by red photon having relatively short wavelengths that has passed through the color filter. And when the brightness of the surrounding environment increases,
the number of red photons passing through the color filter increases in proportion to it. Right? This is a theoretical background for the possibility that QD OLED TVs may have problems in expressing true black in bright environment. While making this video, I had a personal question as to whether Samsung Display really solved this problem. Just recently, on a famous YouTube channel called HD TV Test for Display, I came across an interesting review about Alien's gaming monitor using QD OLED. They reviewed various aspects, but what we should pay attention to is that black doesn't look black in bright environment, and therefore it is said that viewing in a bright environment is not desirable. When the same screen is viewed in dark environment, it appears as deep black, but in a bright environment, the black part appears as dark gray. In the HD TV test channel, it was assumed that the cause was because the quantum dot had scattering properties, so Samsung display did not use a circular polarizer that blocks external light reflection. However, I think that the above-mentioned quantum dot light emission by external light is the cause. If this problem was not resolved in the TV, it may be the reason why Samsung Electronics has been passive in adopting QD OLED. Although there is a difference in degree, if it is difficult to realize perfect black, which is the biggest strength of OLED, it can be a very big problem. That's it for today, goodbye.